Shavkat Rachmanov versus Carlson Harris. This fight could be the second best on the card. Even though it is a pretty good card, there's great matchups. Shavkat Rachmanov, the undefeated Kazakhstan skill master. He is so unbelievably good at everything. Versus Carlson Harris, 17 and 4. Both of these guys, two Dang. fights in the UFC. What do they have? Oh, yeah. Two finishes. And. Dang. Yeah. I just am looking for because both of them got KOs. Uh no, I'm just I think Carlston. He has he has two sim. Uh, he has a he pulled an Anaconda choke on Aguilera and then he he knocked out uh, Impaka Sanganai. He oh had, hit him with some hooks and then ground and pounded him out of there. And then um, so we're getting two absolute sim- killers. No, just yeah finishers. <laughs> and uh <laughs> Shavkat beat um alex Oliveira, and then he su- he subbed both alex Oliveira and michelle prezeris this is why this fight's gonna be so good is they're really similar fighters in the fact that they like to just grind you out mm-hmm. either find a submission or you know the, what they like to do is especially Shavkat, he will stri- he just will beat you down and then on the feet because he's so technical and then he'll <laughs> sounds so funny that you said that so casually first he will beat you down and then he will knock you the fuck out he will he's either gonna beat you on the feet with his insanely technical striking and then he just kind of wears you down get you to the ground and then he'll sink in a submission that's basically what happens here he cracks you and then finds you when you're wobbled and then he'll slide something in there same with Carlson. Carlson will grind you up against the fence and look for the takedown. It's going to be a really interesting clash of styles because they both like to do really similar stuff. So the X factor in this fight is the fact that Shavkat Rachmanov, I feel, is a little bit more technical and a little bit more dynamic on the feet. As we saw in the Michelle Prezeris fight, he was throwing some spinning techniques and he caught um, Prezeris with multiple spinning back kicks and uh, I think he cracked him in the head with one too. So he just has really long punches. He uh, is able to keep you at bay. But the thing with Carlson, he has the attributes to kind of match him skill for skill. I don't think that this fight is really going to go to the ground. If it does, somebody's going to get cracked and wobbled, and they're going to find a way to finish the fight on the ground. Mm-hmm. I think some if yeah if somebody gets hurt on the feet, they're going to try to take it to the ground. They're not going to just keep him up <laughs> wobbling. You know, I I'm just Shavkat Rachmanov. He's easily one of the best welterweights in the world it's only a matter he's only 27 he has so much time to improve um i just i'm really looking forward to it. i've been waiting for this guy to fight him and demir is magula bro we need to get them in the octagon he was demir was supposed to fight but i think he had weight cutting problems but yeah he's another beast that's at 155 but hmm. shavkat rachmanov this is the fight versus carlson harris it has the potential to be fight of the night i think and yeah baby he's I, the nomad's I a stud fight hmm? i've never seen either of them obviously i just start the only their second fight in the ufc mm-hmm. and the one thing i was going to say about shavkat is this man is not fighting scrubs let me go through here for a sec the guys he's fighting michelle prezeris 26 and 3 okay alex Oliveira, the cowboy is 22 and 8 uh he fought another guy that's 28 and 6 11 and 3 10 and 4 8 and 1 5 and 2 in some of these earlier fights, he was fighting guys that had a lot of experience. He has an insane record. Yeah, he's been fighting absolute baller. So watch him That's crack sick. into the top 15 Where very is he soon. From? Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan. Born in Uzbekistan. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's crazy. Dude, he's a phenomenal. He is the man to watch out for. I'm actually looking forward. I'm looking for him to have a huge 2022 for sure. Yeah, definitely. Sick. Mm hmm. He was supposed to fight Ramazan Amiv and uh, Zaleski Dos Santos. And those fights fell through, but those would still be really good matchups in the future, I believe. Yeah, Because definitely. Dos Santos, he came, he's coming off that Benoit St. Denis fight. So if you beat Carlson Harris, Benoit maybe that's Saint-Denis. a maybe that's something to look out for. So, yeah.